All right, guys, welcome back. My name's Nick. I'm here again at MT Performance Engines with Matt Trevino. This is gonna be part three of Mel Swan's Formula Atlantic build, which is pretty much just gonna be picking up from where we left off last time. So I think the first thing's gonna be the dry sump. Whoever here's setting it up, huh? Yeah, so we're gonna, um, we're just gonna, this is a built by Hasselgren. This uh, H power on the front here. It's done by Hasselgren. I think H power stands for Hasselgren power. So they've made this uh, front pump unit, which is essentially the dry sump pump bracket um, and the oil pump seal holder. So basically this is where the old pump would be. Um, now it's just a seal holder for the oil pump system. Funnily enough, it doesn't actually drive the oil pressure through the normal channels. So normally the oil pressure would come through the pump into this gallery here, travel through into the oil filter housing but it's been blocked off. And uh, this fitting here now is the turbo feed. So this would normally get blocked off in the Formula Atlantic engine. And now they actually feed directly into the main oil gallery. So this is the main engine oil gallery. They feed right. directly into that. So, so the dry sump pump mounts on the front, pump sits down the side. And like a Formula Atlantic where they shave the sides, if you actually look at the front of the block on this side, this has all been shaved down too. So all this has been shaved. You can see that was a bolt hole at one point. That's the end of the hole. So it's been shaved down about an inch. So they definitely shaved the block down to try and fit it in the housing, in the uh, fuselage of the chassis. Yeah, and that's just going to give it like a nicer, more clearance for the pump to bring yes, the, the pump Yes, the pump won't fit without it. Yeah. yeah, the pump won't fit without it. So <coughs> we're just uh, cleaning up the pump now and we'll bolt that on. The rear main seal's already on. So once the pump goes on and the rear main seal, we're just going to finish cleaning off the sump. The sump will go on and then that's our short motor complete. We're going to move on to the cylinder head and time it all up. Um, we're going to remove the old TRD camshafts that came out of it. So these are a TRD camshaft that were in it. Hasselgren Racing Cam Gears is beautiful. ARP fixtures. And then these are our 300 degree camshafts from TRD. Absolute monsters. For the keen eye, we've got TRD here, but then if you look at this, you've actually got oil holes on the lobes to feed the uh, buckets. That's how much oil was required to try and lubricate them from uh, galling up. So we've got, we're gonna take off the uh, 300 degree camshafts and we're gonna go back to a uh, two, uh, 272 um, Kelford 193 HVT. So these are our new camshafts. So that'll put us into the RPM range that the car wants to run in. We don't wanna rev at anything more than 9,000 RPM with the boost pressure that we're gonna try and achieve. So these camshafts will probably be good to about 12,000 RPM. We're not looking to try and rev the engine anywhere near that anymore. So we're gonna try and make more torque and power down low. That's hence the turbo setup. Uh, it's gonna keep our valve train from failing sooner and it's gonna stop engine failure prematurely. So this engine should get a bit more life out of it than when it was aspirated. Cool. Yeah. Let's get it on, eh? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I've never had to glue this before, so Forgive me if it looks nice job. A bit more over here. And then I'll put some. Are you gonna fucking cake it on? 100%. <laughs> nah, just enough is, is the right amount. So there's oil in the seal there. So that's prepped. Fingers crossed everything goes on. That's a hammer. Down. Yeah, that was a tight. All right. 
Here we go. Do you want to grab the back, Jay? Yeah. All right, so. Yeah, careful where your fingers are, because that's where the sump's going to go. Come forwards and down. That's it. That's it. All right, so grab a bolt and a washer, Jay. We know which ones the short ones are going to be for sure. So we've got one, oh, these are all the same length, we've got short, short. So what are your thoughts on the sump, Matt? Do you like it? Nice it's, it's sick. It's very awesome. Nice very cool piece, yeah. I um, I love it. I love it how it ties in with the dry sump system. Really cool design. Um, it's been through hell. You can see she's had some blow ups and stuff. That's it. Sump on. I think I'm happy with that. So that'll be it for this video guys. If you like the video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And hit that notification bell if you'd like to see part 4 where Matt gets into the head work and he shows us some really neat tricks like his procedure on how he removes camshafts quickly and safely. He also shows us how to tip valves and we get a close look at the port work along with the massive valves and the dual valve spring setup. So you definitely don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.